to share to you today about the uh, Proverbs uh, 18 verse 21. It says that death and life is in the power of the tongue. And those who love it will reap the harvest. So why is it that it says there life and death or death and life is in the power of tongue? So it is very important how we talk. It is very important what we talk. It is very important uh, the subject of our conversation. So um, life and death is in the power of the tongue. And those who love it will reap the uh, will reap it. So now I will uh, tell you that uh, it is said there that life and death is in the power of the tongue. So life and death is in the power of the tongue. So that's why every time that uh, we will speak, we must speak life. So life, that means that the words that you will speak are those words that can uh, encourage to others. The words that can uh, uh, build up others, that can uh, uh, exhort others. Okay, so that's why uh, if, if we speak about uh, encouragement or the things that can encourage other people, so that is life. Okay, so speak life or speak those things that can encourage others speak those things that can build up others speak those things that can strengthen others so that is how you have life uh, especially the word of god okay so because the word of god gives life as jesus said that uh, uh the flesh profits for nothing but the spirit gives life and uh, the words that he has spoken or the words that jesus had spoken they are spirit and they are life. So to speak life is to speak also the word of God. So if we speak the word of God, you know, the, the uh, words that is written in the Bible, the words that is from the Bible, so that is life. So the people who hear it will have life. Uh, if they believe it, they will have eternal life. So that is uh, life and death is in the power of the tongue and those who love it will reap a harvest so if we speak uh life or meaning to say the word of god that is life so you speak the word of god uh, that's why uh every time that i have a blog every time that i have this uh, video i must speak the words of god i must speak the word that is coming from the lord that is uh, written in the bible why because uh, that is the life that is life okay that is life so it says there uh, life and death is in the power of the tongue and those who love it will reap a harvest so i will speak life because uh, someday i will reap a harvest from the lord so i must have a harvest from god because i speak life so but those person or those people who don't speak life they are speaking death now uh, what is uh, the the uh, words of death so those those words that can discourage other people those words that can uh, put down other people those words that can uh, deprave okay degrade other people so when when some people will be degraded or some people will be discouraged because of what you have spoken so that is death Okay, that is death so that's why we must be careful of what we are uh talking about so we must be careful of what are the words that we have uttered because if we utter those uh, things that can uh discourage other people that can hurt other people so that is death so those who love it will reap a harvest so they will reap a harvest of being death so that's why uh, we must speak life okay so speak those words that can uh, enjoy other people especially uh, in connection to god no? especially in connection to god so that's why uh it says there life and death is in the power of tongue so what you say 
what you speak uh it must give life because if you don't speak life if you don't speak that can give life or that can give encouragement to other uh, if you speak those things that can discourage that can hurt other people so you are speaking death or you are uh you are uh, sowing death so we must speak life or we must speak the word of god so that we sow life okay so speak the word of god no just uh, uh even in our in our conversation in uh, virtual conversation in um uh, like sending message to the messenger to the to the uh, facebook to the uh, page in the facebook to your uh, private message to other people so just uh, uh tell them about the love of god just tell them about uh how God loves them, how God cares for them, how God uh, con uh, concerned for them. So that is uh, life. So we must sow life. Okay. So life and death is in the power of the tongue. So it means to say, every time we talk about, uh, we must talk the words that can encourage, the words that can build up, the words that cannot hurt others, the words that cannot discourage others, the words that can uh, build up others, that can exhort others. No. So that is uh, uh, being uh, life, okay? Uh, we speak life, especially the Word of God, especially the Word of God. We must speak the Word of God. So that's why the Bible says that uh, uh, Jesus, uh, what Jesus has spoken, they are spirit and they are life. Nowadays, we need this, okay? Because there are many people who are uh, discouraged. There are, there are many people who are being hurt. You know? So we must speak life to them. So we must uh, speak encouragement to them. We must speak uh, the things that uh, can build them up, that can exhort them. So that is how God uh, wants us to be. So we must speak the words of encouragement, the words that uh, God wants to other people. So especially the love of God. So let's uh, share the love of God to them. Uh, it says there that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that also ever believes on him should not perish but have everlasting life so if we continue to tell the world if we continue to tell other people about the love of god about the that god care for them that god is so concerned for them then the, we are sowing life we are sowing life to them and then uh, someday as uh, they will continue to listen what is the word of god and then they will uh, have relationship to god then uh they will have eternal life and then they will have eternal life then god will be joyful for that uh, you know uh there was uh, what god uh, talked about in uh, luke chapter 15 that says there uh even one sinner that will repent thousands of angels will rejoice in heaven uh, can you imagine only one person that will repent thousands of angels will rejoice in heaven so if you speak the word of god if you speak the message of god especially the message of salvation the message of love the, the message of repentance if you speak it if you speak it and then there are people who will uh, receive it believe it and they will have a relationship to god they will be saved then you will reap a harvest of eternity eternal life so that's why it is very important uh this in this uh, proverbs chapter 18 verse 21 that it says her that life and death is in the power of the tongue for death and life is in the power of the tongue and those who love it will uh, receive a harvest from it so that is my my advice to each one of us that I will encourage you, I will encourage you to speak life. Don't speak that can hurt others. Okay? Don't speak the words that can hurt others. Don't speak the words that can discourage others. Don't speak the words that can uh, degrade others. No? Don't speak it. Because if you speak it, it means to say that you sow death. You are sowing death. So don't speak it. You must only speak the words that can encourage others or that can correct others no? that their life will be corrected and they, when they will be corrected they will 
uh, turn to righteousness, they will turn to godliness then. Uh, that is life. That is life. Okay? So, it does not mean that uh, uh, we will not correct. It does not mean uh, we, we, we will correct others. We must correct those who do not obey righteousness. We will correct those who do not uh, obey godliness. We must correct those who don't follow God. Because uh, if we don't correct them, it means to say that we are consenting to death. We are consenting to death. So we must correct them so that they will uh, obey righteousness. They will love righteousness. They will love godliness. And then if they love them, above all, they will love God. Uh, they will love God who is the creator of heaven and earth, who, who gives life. If they love it, then they will have eternal life. They will have life from it. So that's why it is very important for us to uh, speak life, to utter the messages of life, the messages from the word of God, so that many people will have uh, eternal life. Many people will receive eternal life. So uh, I will speak to you. What is eternal life? Eternal life is being with the Lord forever. So we will be with God forever. So from now on, from now on, if you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you have the word, of, you have Jesus in your heart, then uh, if we will uh, go to heaven or if we pass from this earth, uh, we must be with the Lord. So that is eternal life. Okay, so we have the Lord today. If you receive Jesus Christ, you have the Lord today. And then uh, if we have uh, passed this world, then we will be with the Lord, so that is eternal life. So, eternal life meaning we are with the Lord from now on until eternity. So, that's all that I can share for you today. God bless.